My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got a 1970 GTO here. I have the Pontiac historical documentation. It's a real GTO. It was born triple black, factory air conditioned, power steering, power brakes. It was body off frame restored around 1990. That's what the majority of these receipts are from. Uh, professionally done and really well cared for since then. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the specs, study all the pictures top to bottom. And that's where you find price tags on all of the collector cars that we have for sale. It's at volocars.com. If you enjoy the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on the bell icon. That way you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, join me. Let's go for a spin. I bought this from a GTO collector. I bought a Ram Air 4 Judge. He has another Judge. Uh, he collects these cars. I bought it. From him, he's owned it since 2007, so the last uh, nine years it's been in his collection. I know the restoration was done in 1990, but I think because of how well it looks, uh, it says a lot about it. And at the time, it was done at a professional shop. It's all itemized, invoiced. Uh, they did everything. Body was off the frame. The frame was sandblasted and painted. Uh, the floors are all restored. They're all clean metal, all properly done. The braces, the rockers, everything looks really nice. Uh, they were given a light undercoat. At the time of the restoration, everything, every component under the car was redone. The front end, the ball joints, bushings, springs, shocks, uh, the back end, same thing. And this has the F41 suspension. It has the box control arms, front and rear sway bars. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still clean. Uh, it has the original uh, 1970 Turbo 400 automatic transmission that was rebuilt. Uh, it has the 10 bolt rear end in the back. Uh, it's got a nice dual exhaust system. Actually, it's all stainless steel. The pipes, the mufflers, all of it's stainless steel. Uh, it has disc brakes in front, drum and back. E-brake assembly is all hooked up. Um, <clears throat> Fuel system was replaced at the time. So again, when they restored it, they did, they did it all. The body is excellent. Uh, I think I seen in there, it has NOS fenders, new old stock fenders. Uh, they put quarters on the car. And again, it, it was a professional shop. I could tell by the way they were invoicing the guy. They gave him his invoice, but they also took detailed notes of what they were doing. Uh, they took it apart and they fit everything just right. <clears throat> this paint job's that old and it looks this good. I mean, that, that says it all. Uh, but anyway, always look at the gaps, look for bubbles down here. Gaps are right on. This is perfectly smooth. It's like looking in a mirror. It really is. This is all exceptionally nice. The bumper fits the body contour right on. This fits perfectly. And I never use the word perfect in my videos, but this trunk is perfectly square and flush. Real nice. And it's black. Black doesn't hide anything. And I just look down the side of this car, and it's straight. It's like a mirror. I see the reflection of our walls. It's like a mirror. All smooth, no rust. This door fits really nice. Couple nicks on the edge of the door I could feel were touched up. Oh, there's a little tiny... At the, very, at the very bottom, I don't even know if it's rust or maybe a drip. This is all super clean. The hood fits real nice and square. Got the GTO scooped hood. Now the bumper, it's a rubber bumper. It fits really well. Normally the nose is always banged up. I'm surprised rubber bumper to be painted in 1990 looks this good. That's an excellent shape. Headlight bezels, turn signal bezels, the grills, all that looks really nice. They upgraded it with some 15, it uh, looks like 15 by 8 chrome Rally 2 wheels. This is slick, all in chrome. The right lug nuts, the right center caps. 
windshields nice and clear that was replaced it came with sport mirrors door handles are real shiny the rubber still soft pillar rubber soft yeah body's excellent this is this is the first time I'm really looking at the body. I walked around and looked at it, but this body is really exceptional. It's a black convertible top. It's power. When it was restored, they painted the frame, replaced the rubber. It was a complete restoration of the top. Back bumper is chromed beautifully. Has the correct uh, splitter tips coming out through the valance there. Don't have a top boot for it. You can buy the black boot. That would finish this off real nicely. They're a couple hundred bucks. Not a big deal. So there you have it. Why don't we open it up and uh, take a tour of the inside and under the hood. Okay, here's the inside of the trunk compartment. Uh, the mat looks new. Under the uh, mat, the metal is excellent. They did put a new trunk pan in there. They did a really nice job of doing it at the factory seams. You can't tell a pan was put in there. Uh, it does have a Rally 2 wheel for a spare. It's an old tire. Um, I don't see a jack. The well liner was replaced. The weather strip was replaced. Bottom of the trunk lid and the jam are painted real nicely. So the door panel looks really nice. Door jams are, are real clean. Uh, they're painted nice. Weather strips are soft. <clears throat> These dash pads have been known to crack. This one's in really nice shape and it fits nice. I don't see any cracks. It's a factory air car, so it has the vent. The controls are in nice shape. It has a CD stereo clock which isn't working uh, gauge cluster is optional on the left there we have a deluxe wheel so overall the dash is in real nice shape the vents the knobs cigarette lighter it's overall very good uh, there's an equalizer in the uh, glove box here the light works the seats have been reupholstered real nice the center console's in good shape. The bezel has a little, little imperfection on here. Nothing's busted or broken, but it's got some age showing in the console in a couple places. It's got its original seat belts. The trim on the back of the seat, all that's in good shape. The back seat's nice, the rear armrest, the lights work. Got the Pontiac floor mats up front. And let's see what we got under the hood. It's got a 400 motor. It was rebuilt, uh, balanced, uh, completely gone through. Uh, it does have an aluminum intake. Looks like an Edelbrock with a dual feed Holly carb. HEI ignition, it's got headers, so I have a little extra giddy up and go. It's a factory air condition system, it's had some replacement parts and it's updated with the 134 Freon. It's got an aluminum radiator, power steering, power brakes. The brake booster and master look pretty new, it's a cadmium plated booster. The wiper motor looks pretty clean, squirters are hooked up. What we have here is a really nice car, just the way that trunk shut with ease. Um, this is a car you go to the cruise nights, you drive, you take your kids. It's not a car you have to roll in and out of a trailer, um, but it's a really good, well-built uh, car with a lot of integrity. That's what I think about it. 
and find a GTL convertible, factory air, and you won't find a triple black one. Black just was not that popular or desirable back around 1970. I don't know why, maybe because black shows everything. Uh, maybe their quality wasn't real high, but uh, not too many cars across the board were black, whether it's a Chevelle, especially Camaros. I know a 69 Camaro uh, in black, you'll pay a premium for that because there just aren't many. Uh, so there you have it. It comes with all the documentation. It tells the story about the car. Frame off restored 70 GTO. That's my impression. Go to volocars.com and you can ask for a salesman that can answer some more questions or concerns you might have. Uh, they can also help get you financing and get this delivered to your driveway. If you enjoy the videos, which I hope you do, subscribe to the YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.